the next thing which we're going to touch on um, is going to be uh, the price, okay? So let's just go and look at some candles. What is a good pair right now? I don't even know. Um, we can just look at this. We can just look at this, okay? So let's talk about the price. If all you guys have the, the free course and the way this pretty much works is if we're looking at the anatomy of the candle, we know, um, let me find a really good one. Let's just go to this. We have the high, which tells us high optimism. This is the people feeling at its best, okay? Here we have the low, which is our low of depression, which tells us the people were feeling at its worst, okay? Ultimately, you have the open of the candle, and you have the close of the candle as well. So we can just see the relay of emotions, um, optimism. Uh, the optimism can't be held, right? Not only are we getting to high points, but we're closing down below. So even though we're feeling some optimism during the period, ultimately by the end of the day, we're feeling worse. We're feeling worse, we're feeling worse. But you can see by the momentum that Let's go back a little that we um, it's small, a bit bigger, a bit bigger, and then a bit smaller. We can see some more optimism starting to come in. The next day we get more optimism. The candle actually closes green to show you we're feeling a bit better than we did yesterday. And we see more green, more green and more green and more green. OK, and if you do apply the time frame, go to the time frame, anal time frame analysis page. You can apply top-down analysis to be like, okay, um, if the weekly is up, I can be on the four-hour looking for buying trades, um, for long trades, things just like that. Um, the next, That's really as simple as the anatomy goes. Um, up up means up and down means down. Um, it's the same thing we're talked about, we're, we're taught, whether it's in school, whether um, you're learning how to drive and it's the road lights. Green means up, down. Green means advancing, and red ultimately means depressive. It's falling. Things are in a negative state. Same thing for this, where we can see we got a real low here. Sorry. Let's say what we have here is the display of emotion, okay? Maybe there is another chart which can show this as well. So even if we're on the weekly time frame, right, we can see that we're getting a terrible um, emotional state from the Australian compared to the U.S. So the U.S. is actually doing really good um, in the prior weeks. Um, not last week, but in the prior weeks as well. The U.S. was doing fairly well. That's why you had the Australian falling. Okay, so we can see we got a red one, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. Then we can see that there's, um, uh, let's say, a release of funds. Okay, so um, there's somewhat of an exhaustion of the, the selling pressure, the negative emotions going on in Australia. But we do get a retest of our previous our previous low, our previous support turn resistance, and we can see the sellers continue to flood into the market. Okay, this was an old support where we got a buying idea, right? And we're spanning back from 2008, okay? So we're still getting more selling pressure, more selling pressure, more selling pressure, and we're not getting the market structure. We're not getting bullish market structure to tell us that we're going up we're getting bearish market structure right with bearish market structure we can expect to sell we came back down to this support area which spans back from 2013 right so you can basically see the world is going to be trying to um, reject that area from 2003 we're in 2020 the world doesn't want to be in the same financial state pretty much psychological and financial state as 2000.